What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. I finally made it to New York City. Hey, ladies, shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> that things were bouncing around like a bounce house. Just water balloons. Water. <laughs> That's crazy work, bro. <laughs> I finally made it, and she got immediately cooked. This is great. Do you remember when you promised me at my birthday you are going to give me... Why does her head look so big? <laughs> the Chanel bag? You really okay, sweat in the Chanel so that's bag. that's when we were together, love. Like, you broke up with me? Stupid. Yeah, but a promise is a promise. Okay. Bro. Okay, so what do you want? I came here to get my handbag. Your handbag? Yeah, but you, we broke up six months ago. Bro, this can't be real. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Is the UK a real place? Like, what is that? We break up six months ago. You told me, my birthday, you are going to give me the handbag. Yeah, when we were together. We're not together anymore, so... It doesn't matter, like, when Stupid. we're not together anymore. So why, yeah, like, I don't understand why you're here. If we are together or not together, that doesn't matter. But you actually, you make a promise. And I always keep my word when I say something. And you should do too. I you told you. me you are going to give me my birthday the handbag. Yeah, so I said that I'll get you a handbag when we were like boyfriend and girlfriend. We're not we're not together anymore. We're not, we're, we're not in anything anymore. The entitlement is crazy. She really thinks she still deserves this bag after six months of a breakup, bro? Chad, would you get that girl a handbag, bro? Absolutely. I'd tell her to kick rocks. But now you've come to me in my house saying to me, hey, where's my bag? Of course. What, what do you mean, of course? The man <laughs> in her mind, it's completely justified. Of course I came by. Of course I did. <laughs> bro, this makes no sense, bro. There's no way that's real. Do you have kids? Not together. That's the beautiful man. You accept her kids? Oh, yeah. yeah, she accepts oh. yours. You don't have any? You want one? Are you gonna give him one? How old are you? How young am I? I'm 39. 39? You got two hours left. Damn, that was a. <laughs> he said, You got two hours left. That guy came in, he's like, I want kids of my own. She's not gonna give me kids. God, uh, I feel bad for you. You just see, he looks defeated. It uh, sucks. You treat a patient who has blood sugar levels high. I will just tell him not to eat sugar. If he is not having sugar, then where is the problem? Same thing with marriage. If you don't get married, where there is marriage problem? <laughs> that is why my father is to tell always. <laughs> what do they say? The, the only way to avoid divorce is to never get married? No woman, no cry. So no sugar, no sugar problem. <sighs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> no woman, no cry. No <laughs> I mean, the man's got, he's got a point. His logic's on point. You broke up with him, so give me one thing he did wrong in a relationship and one thing you did wrong in a relationship. Hmm. Okay, Crickets. one thing he did wrong versus yeah, one toxic. thing I did wrong. Yep. One toxic. thing I did wrong was be myself. Oh, oh dang, she don't want to take accountability. You are. No, she really just said, yeah, uh, yeah. I was myself. I was just me. I was just too real. I was just like too much of like, you know, too understanding. It was always too much of a good thing. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working Working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Telling me 
that these dudes pay money for roses so they can send them to me to increase their chances of having a conversation with me. Yeah. I hear that's how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem? But I don't get a cut of that. What? What? I'm sorry. Is one expecting to get paid for one's time in regards to one's interactions with men? Uh, there's a word for that. Hinge keeps that? Hinge takes these dudes' money and pockets it? That's an unethical thing. get a dime? Now let's think really hard about what exactly it's called when a woman gets paid for her time when it comes to interactions with men. <laughs> we know what that's called, buddy boy. <laughs> In the social setting. It's the oldest profession. Is she, is she for real? This woman is straight for real? You take your fat dad to the weight loss doctor, <laughs> and they ask which one is the patient. Shots fired! <laughs> What's so funny? <clears throat> fat doctor over here asks which one is the patient. <laughs> big back, big back. At this point, y'all most need it. <laughs> Devastating. Do y'all ever watch my uh, 600 pound life? Bro, it's so funny. They be rolling up in there, literally rolling, or I guess stumbling up in there, and they have their enablers in there a lot of the times, and he's like, so who, who's who? Because <laughs> the enablers most of the time are just as fat as they are. It's funny. You'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. That men, their whole life was taught how to treat a woman and not what to expect from a woman. Mm. But women were taught their whole life what to expect from a man, but not how to treat a man. This mm. is not even con facts. Yeah, that was not even controversial anymore. That's just honestly the the modern dating market we're in right now is women have no idea what men expect from them, but they expect the world and some from men. That's the internet. Uh, I guess yeah. You ever had a fight before? Yeah. So would you say you're quite freaky? What like mentally or? No, we're not oh. talking about your mental health. <laughs> right. So you're right. But it matters, guys. It matters. Oh, you one of these. <laughs> I'm doing so many steps. She's not really here. You, you didn't miss nothing with that, buddy. Dad must have been a carpenter. Got that flat back, boy. Fired. Goodness gracious. I'm telling you right now. Tell me who the hell Rachel is? No, it's Jack. No, it isn't. Someone named Rachel is calling your phone right now. No, it's Jack. Who is she? Answer it. It's Jack. Oh, it is? Okay, let's see. Hello? Oh, hi, Jack. Yeah, here he is. Why is Jack's name Rachel on your phone? Because if it said Jack was calling, then you wouldn't have brought me my phone, would you? <laughs> now that's a real... <laughs> <laughs> She's playing checkers. This man is playing chess. If that wasn't good, that was great. I love it. Remember meeting a woman named Sylvia at a wedding recently? Uh-huh, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm not surprised she called the radio station. You're, oh, you're you're not okay because the, most of the time people are surprised to be in this Psycho. situation. But so you, okay, so she called us and told us that she met you at a wedding and liked you. Did mention that you guys hooked up. Uh, that was about it. Said that she's reached got, out. She got it on. She's a runner. She's a track star. You haven't responded. You said you'd call. You haven't. So what's the story? Why aren't you surprised that she'd call us? Um, <clears throat> yeah, Sylvia was cool, and uh, we met at this. Um, wedding and you know we had a nice time it was all normal um, but the problem was uh, yeah I'm not surprised because she actually ended up telling everyone at the wedding what happened between us um, mm. I woke up the next day and I got all these texts from my friends and from people at the wedding apparently she uh, took a picture of me while sleeping and then text guests who slept over <laughs> That's messed up. To about eight different people. What? Oh, <laughs> a picture of you? <laughs> How about yeah. you? I mean, are you like, um, are you decent in this picture? I know you're sleeping, but you had no idea this picture was taken. Like, what sort of picture are we talking about? Oh, uh, we know. just me sleeping. I mean, it's not like some sexy picture. Sleeping? That's kind of weird. Right? Chat, let me know. If a girl took a picture of you snoozing and sent it to a bunch of people, that's, that's kind of creepy, right? But, yeah, she basically told everyone that we uh, spent the night together, which was a huge turnoff to me. I mean, 
That's just that's really weird. Oh, because I mean, who in the girl chat is is leaking the bingo. information? Like leaking that information. That's the problem. No, it's not. Right, that is the problem. Well, if a girl's comfortable enough to do that, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. She a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. That means you're way out of her league. More than likely, you beat the cheeks, and she wants to gallivant around that she got her back blown out by you. And I'm gonna be honest. Those aren't the girls you want a wife, bro. It's a picture. <laughs> right. Let's not act like this doesn't happen. Yeah, what? If a man Women did don't do that. Now, men, men do that. Men are pigs, though. Men, it's a badge of honor for a man to be able to go get laid. But for women, it's like, ladies, come on. There's no there's no honor in, in being a 304. I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes you got to learn to let go. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to go through all this. Get up. Get up and get out of them relationships. Why like, are you here, bro? <laughs> This was a green screen. This man is actually here. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to walk away. Ain't no need to go through all and that. Take your too. Mm -hmm. What is even happening? Bro, what is, yeah, what is going on? The, the throwing the clothes out. That was, wow. Why he's not texting you right now? Whistling diesel video. Bro, he is cutting a rug in this tractor. <laughs> My man is drifting in a When boys are left to their own bro. devices. I've never seen that. <laughs> she told him we're just friends, forgot her wallet, stay strong, king. Oh my lord. It's like, nah, no bread for you. No bread. You're, we're just friends, right? We're just friends. No free dinners. No free dinners, honey. <laughs> I love it. Uh, she'll have water. Just, no, no salad for her. Is the salad free? Yeah, she doesn't need it. Just water for oh, her. I need some money. So as long as he constantly giving me money, I'm good. How about him actually giving time to his child? Isn't that worth more than money? Yeah. He has to pay to be a father? I mean, I feel like if he don't if he don't give money or everything else irrelevant, it don't even matter how much time you give. If he ain't giving the money, then you, at that point, to me, you a deadbeat. Somewhere in the world. Child Protective Services. Foster homes all over America. Them kids want a daddy. They don't care how much money he comes with. If they got the PS5 or not. Just the fact that having a father to love them, those kids want their daddy. Now, this woman is here saying that if this man doesn't fork over some money, now all of a sudden he's a deadbeat. I'm going to pray for this woman, ladies and gentlemen. We need to pray for women like this so they can see the way. Lord Jesus, please. It's so vile that society. Well, yeah, and it's, it's awful that these women are the ones having these children probably out of wedlock. You know, single moms running rampant right now in today's society. And it's the fact that these kids really need dads. They need fathers. They need dads. What in the lanky, lank, lanky is that? <laughs> um, everybody wants a slanky. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just sad that these women see dollar signs and not the the value of a, a, a true relationship. It's just, it's, it's horrifying. Uh, it breaks my heart, really. You rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say like... Six. Why six? Okay. Because there's so many more pretty girls here. Yeah, but you shouldn't compare hey, yourself. Hey, she's based. Shout out to her. Up to others. It's your I'm, scale. If I'm being honest, like bean I, bean pole. I feel like I could. I don't look that good right now. Like okay. on your best day. I could look better. Okay, on my best day, maybe an eight, nine, eight point five. Okay. Yeah. Today we're gonna see if AI agrees with you. Okay. Oh. No. <laughs> First off, let's get a fit check. It's it's a basic. Like a little cute selfie. It's just it's just a it's a basic chick. It, it is inverted. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you think AI is gonna give you? I think AI is gonna give me like probably a five or six. A yeah, five or six. Well, if it's rating it off of the face card, maybe yeah, I'd give her a six though. It gave you a four point nine. Oh my god. Mm. Based on that photo. Yeah. You caught me on my worst day. Yeah. Do you guys think AI? You can't change your bone structure, honey. Tripping, or do you think that's a valid rating? This is just one. I think I'm a six all day. Chat. We. I like to do this, you know, about every month. Rate me in the. Rate me in the comments right now. Rate me one out of ten. I give myself a strong six. I'm six two, one eighty five, built of raw steel and sex appeal. <laughs> Got a big forehead, a crooked nose, and potentially even a lazy eye. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think I'm a, I think I'm a six all day. I think I'm a six all day. Your bank account, because men just love to spend money on me. She's a runner. She's a track star. How about new? Okay. I feel like he's a bit of a baller shot caller. Oh, we love ballers. We love ballers. Actually, I'm a millionaire. Whoa. Stop. Look at her face light up like a Christmas tree. You would have thought it's December 25th and the Grinch was coming down the freaking chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's like, ah, oh, something just got a little moist down there. I am a millionaire. Uh, but in million Korean won. That's fine. I'll take oh, that's it. That's fine. I'll take it. $560. Oh, okay. Love it. Got him. <laughs> a we million wants $560. <laughs> Bro, actually, she has no idea. I guess if that's the case, then I'm a millionaire as well. Multi-millionaire in Korean one. Be alone, but we don't want to be by ourselves. Does that make sense at all? Meaning, really, be, we want you uh, somewhere, like in the dwelling, just not here, like just like around the corner in the vents. You can sit in the vent. I don't care if you want to watch me, but. In the bay, on the roof, anywhere, but just not in front of me, <laughs> trying to be my friend. What you doing? What you doing? Watching well, baseball. That's something that women cannot understand. It's the concept of doing nothing. But why are you watching baseball by yourself? How come you didn't get me up? You snuck out of bed. Why you didn't get me up? I want to watch baseball with you. What you doing? Why you? Why you? Why you down? I mean, Patrice O'Neal. We lost him way too soon. Man, one of the goats. One of the goats, dude. How much you weigh? Uh, 145. 145? Well, I'm the weight scale guy. <laughs> okay. Can I weigh you? Yeah. Yeah. How do you want to weigh me? First, I'll do the scale, then I'll pick you up. Okay. Hold this. Wow, this, this is this is new. She's actually What's going on? Yeah, scale? Yes, what are we weighing? God damn me. You better weigh hey, them toes. Oh my goodness! Go for it. Hey, man! Hey, you said 145? About you said 145. Let's see. Oh, she lied. Ten pounds overweight. 150. That's okay. At least she's not trying to. Hey, hey, kudos to her though. You know what I'm saying? Like 154, 155. I just applaud her for even hopping on the scale a lot of women wouldn't even hop on the scale bro um, since you want to do it to me i'm gonna do it to you if there were 10 handsome men in the room would you still choose me yes how would you know they're handsome that means you're looking at them and since this is just a hypothetical question what do these men even look like in your imagination no see you answer not... wrong bro if you cheated on me would you tell me Yes, I would tell you because. So you're planning to cheat on me, and you want to break up? That's what <laughs> I love it. That's the way women think, though, bro. Basically. No, I'm just. That's saying what you're I, saying, though. I start thinking outside of the box now. What is my toxic trait? Wrong. Took too long. It was supposed to say none, bro. See, why are you taking see, too long? See, what if long? I was gonna say no? I was gonna say you were sassy, to be honest. Okay, see, that's a great last. That's what they always go with. You're sassy. Question: Y'all can decide too. Am I the hot one in the relationship or the funny one? I say you're the you're the hot one. I'm pretty funny. So I'm not funny. I'm funnier, you know. So that. you're trying to say I never Tell make you laugh. Tell them I'm funnier, dude. You know I'm funnier. Funnier, Tell bro. Them. At least give them. Why is it women always think they're funnier, bro? A word that's something okay, in the dictionary. Okay, tell them I'm funnier. Is not even in the what dictionary. What is the word then? More funny. Tell them I'm more funny than you. You're not though. Tell them right now. Tell them. Tell them. Ah, oh. boys, just. <laughs> I've seen them on TikTok before. They crack me up. They're they're actually pretty funny. Um, let's get to the clip in question that's in the thumbnail. Let's see what we've got. Um, oops, did not mean to do that, chat. Here we go. Come on now. You guys, all I have to say is get yourself a pro athlete. No, God, please, no, no. She's a runner. She's a track star. Look what he got me today. Today was like our first like date date. He had this for me in his car. Oh, also let me just say he opened the door for me. Bro, the bar is so low. When girls want to give Chad's the pass, the bar is so low. He opened the door, got you a little bag of goodies. He might have even had that for another broad. 
you might have been second string. That bag sounded like Halloween candy. He probably had that for months. Every single time. Opened and closed the door for me. Because he knows how to beat the cheeks. He's not stupid. Like his car door. You guys, uh, you guys, what did I do to deserve this? You guys, uh, no guy has ever treated me like this. Like, I know, like, people don't really know. But, like, all I've ever dealt with is being cheated on, being disrespected, literally being told I'm not good enough, being told I'm not pretty enough. What she didn't recognize is the athlete didn't treat her like she was special. He treated her worse than the guys that stuck around to tell her she wasn't good enough. But Bro, that's, that's crazy work, bro. She got a little gift basket with some candy in it. And, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm a bat. I'm a bat. I got my life together. How about new? About the cap. Nah, honey, no. I have a house. I Well, not a house, a condo. I bought it myself. I have a dog. I raised her. I pay for her food. I pay for her vet bills. I have a car. Congratulations, you are a functioning adult. Congrats. <laughs> I pay for my car insurance. I pay for everything. I pay for my clothes. I pay for gas. I go to work. I have a wonderful job that I honestly, truly love. I go to the gym. I work on myself. I work on myself mentally. And you're telling me, you're telling me that at the age of 24, I'm crying over a man. When I have everything I need in my life. I have everything I've ever dreamed for. And I'm here crying. Clearly you don't. Over a man. Why? Why am I like this? Why the f am I like this? I literally have everything in the world. I literally have my own place. At 23, I bought my place. And I thought that was going to be peak. And it was. It is. But I'm sitting here crying over a man. It's ridiculous. Don't date in Toronto. And did we even expect it's that? It's just because, man, we as people thrive off relationships way more than you think we do. Loki, you want some beef jerky? Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. We got him a new tree. I think it's like, I don't even know, like lung or something? Beef lung? Let's see if he likes it. Oh, it stinks. It's like kind of crunchy. It's a little bit lighter. It's like dehydrated lung. Okay, well, he doesn't seem too picky about it. But this is the thing, dude. With the ladies like this, is they think that just because they can go and buck this guy, that that's the level of guy that they can date. And that's not the case. It's called the ch it's called being Chad struck. <laughs> Chad struck. They think that oh well, Chad will blow my back out and beat the cheeks, but he doesn't want to wife me. Yeah, honey, because he's not yours. He's just your turn. <laughs> He's not yours, it's just your turn. You just get to have a little ride with him and then he's on to the next. If he can spoil you, he can spoil a few. If he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. That's why you ladies gotta start realizing this. Is These high value guys, they're actually the prize. You better be going out of your way to make sure you're procuring him to get that wife title or that girlfriend title. Because the thing is, is what you won't do, another girl will. It's just so crazy to me that these girls don't realize that, bruv. <laughs> Being Chad struck. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I think Loki already waxed that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two ebooks, The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style. I'm working on getting the four values of vetting out. Teespring's giving me a hard time, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. It'll be out probably by this week or if not next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.